Hi everyone! I'm Ms. Heather, one of the Youth Services Librarians at Heartland's Chromaine Library, and I'm here to tell you all about this year's summer reading program, Tales and Tales. Let's get started with some of our super fun summer events. So we have a ton of awesome outdoor events planned this summer, starting in June. So in June, we'll have an Imagine That Family concert on the South Lawn. We'll also have Tales About Tales with Howell Nature Center and Family Sharpie Tie-Dye. If you're interested in any of these events, please register. We also have some really fun stuff coming up in July, including Dinosaur Tales with Paleo Joe and Harry Potter Camp. Harry Potter Camp also has a virtual option, so you can choose to attend either in person or online. Registration is required for these events as well. We'll also have story time. Our family story times on the lawn will take place on Wednesdays in June and on Thursdays in July at 10 a.m. We'll also have a virtual story time option on Wednesday, June 30th at 10 a.m. Please register for each event separately if you're interested in any of these events. So we'll also have some drop-in kits for you. Um, these will be available on a first-come, first-served basis every other Friday beginning at 10 a.m. Some of the themes this year include Beach Day, Magical Creatures, The Great Outdoors, Dogs and Cats, and The Night Sky. We'll have some contests again this summer, including a Reach Your Pet photo contest in June, an I Spy scavenger hunt in July, and through June and July, we'll have a Tales and Tales writing and art contest. So you'll have plenty of time and opportunity to submit an entry. If you are interested in any of these events, our June event registration begins on Thursday, May 27th at 9 a.m. and our July event registration begins on Thursday, June 24th at 9 a.m. Um, to register for any event or if you need more information, please visit our website at chromaine.org, click on Programs and Events, and then View All Events. You can also stop into the library or give us a call. So our summer reading challenge itself runs from June 1st until August 20th. You can sign up for the challenge on our website. There will be a nice little banner that you can click on. And what we want you to do is just record the number of minutes you read throughout the summer. Every month you get a free book and the more you read, the more tickets you earn to put toward a grand prize. And you're probably wondering what those grand prizes are. So we have some gift cards available. We've got um, Dairy Queen, Target, Amazon, and Meyer gift cards that you can win. We'll also have tickets to the D Detroit Zoo, as well as some gift packs. So we'll have a unicorn gift pack, an arts and crafts gift pack, and a Harry Potter gift pack. So lots of different things that you can try to win. So now that you know about our summer reading program, I'm sure you're wondering what you can read to start earning those raffle tickets. Well, you can read absolutely anything you want, but if you have no idea where to start, here are some of um, my favorites that I've read recently that I think that you'll really enjoy too. To find even more titles, check out Chromaine's summer reading book recommendations on our summer reading page. All right, so the first couple I want to tell you about are nonfiction picture books. And the first one is called The Bug Girl, A True Story. And this one is cool because it's written by a fourth grader named Sophia Spencer with the help of an adult named Margaret McNamara. And Sophia became obsessed with bugs at age two and a half when she visited a butterfly conservatory with her mom. A butterfly tried to follow her home and ever since she has just wanted to learn everything about them. If you enjoy bugs as well, definitely check this one out. I also have Being Frog by April Polisser, and this will tell you exactly what it's like to be a frog. There are really great images in the book as well, so if you like frogs, definitely check that one out. 
So I also have one called Claude, the true story of a white alligator. And Claude was born into a family of all green alligators, but he was special because he was a white alligator. So a special zoo took him to keep him safe because they were afraid that um, he might get attacked by predators. And he, this is just the story of Claude and how that action of moving him into a special zoo probably saved his life. This is a great book if you like reptiles. And then I have another butterfly book for you. This one is called The Truth About Butterflies by Maxwell Eaton. And it's just going to tell you all about butterflies, how, they different, how they're different from moths, and so much more. Um, so definitely check this one out. So maybe you want to tell your own story. So I want to tell you about this wordless picture book I found called Hike by Pete Oswald. And it just has these really great illustrations and there are no words. So you get to tell the story and decide what's going on. Um, this is great for kids who have huge imaginations. I also have some very silly graphic novel suggestions for you. The first one is called Baloney and Friends by Greg Pizzoli. And this is about animals and some of the adventures that they go on. Um, if you like Elephant and Piggy and aren't sure what to read next, I think you'll like Baloney and Friends, so check it out. And then the other one I want to tell you about is Peanut Butter and Crackers Puppy Problems. So this one is about a dog and a cat who are just peacefully coexisting and living their lives with their human when suddenly a disaster happens and a puppy comes home to stay. And as you can see by the cover, the puppy gets into some shenanigans. Um, he gets into some trouble. So if you just want to read a hilarious book, I highly recommend this one. If you're already reading chapter books, I have a great book recommendation for you. This book is called Our Friend Hedgehog, The Story of Us by Lauren Castillo. And it's about Hedgehog and Muddy, who are the best of friends, but unfortunately, they get separated during a terrible storm. And Hedgehog is determined to find Muddy again. And during his search, he encounters some additional animal friends, as well as a human girl, who try to help him reunite with his best friend. This is a really sweet story, and it's especially great for people who like Frog and Toad or Winnie the Pooh. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to stop by the library, give us a call at 810-632-5200, or email us at youthandteenatcrewmain.org. We're always happy to help you. Hope to see you soon. Bye!